I just had a very bad interview. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Uh, today is 13th of January 2021, and I've been looking for a job since October, and I haven't had a lot of luck. Maybe because I'm a not desirable candidate, or maybe it's COVID. I don't want to find out which one it is. Because if it's me, then I could change, but it's about me. But if it's COVID, that means I can't change anything. And I'm stuck, so either way, it's shit. I just want to share my struggles with y'all because Lord knows people love it when people share their struggles. I just had an interview, which was supposed to be for an hour. They stopped asking me questions at the half hour mark. It was clear that they didn't like me and it's fine. I don't know, I could be wrong. I'm very wrong about these things. You know, sometimes I think it's gone really bad but it hasn't because they called me back for a second interview so other times, you know, in my mind gone very well but turns out they didn't like me at all um, or sometimes it's I'm right or sometimes, you know, I felt it went bad and it actually went bad so would have no way in knowing whatsoever <sighs> I'm looking for jobs in this climate it's a lot of rejection really need to have thick skin because people give you bullshit excuse for not hiring you you know for a fact it's not true like for example this guy that i interviewed with on monday this monday is wednesday he literally stopped me while i'm in the middle of telling him my skills and experiences like literally stops me a quarter way through and just start asking me questions where I haven't even, you know, ended answering his first one. And, you know, after the interview, he, he tells me, he sends me an email. No, he didn't even send me an email. He got his um, HR department to send me an email saying that um, I'm not qualified. Well, no shit, I'm not qualified. You literally stopped me a quarter way through of me telling you what my experiences were. He basically lied to my face and said that, yeah, so we're gonna send you a task afterwards that we're gonna complete. Cause I asked him about the interview process. You don't have to say that you are going to send me a task afterwards so I can complete it. You can just say there will be a task afterwards to complete, not I'm going to send you a task after this so you can complete it. He straight up lied to my face basically. Um, I don't appreciate that, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, you learn from these things and sometimes things happen for a reason. Sometimes, you know, maybe it's a shit company and you're not supposed to work there anyway. They just saved you from misery, basically. Or sometimes it is a good company, but just not the right time for you, you know what I mean? It's, you know, everything happens for a reason, but you know, it still hurts, it still sings. The, the key is to never give up applying because if you give up, you're gonna be unemployed. So, you know, grow some thick skin, get some grit, and just move along. Maybe it's not a bad thing because sometimes they call you back because they have your um, CV and file for a, you know, a role that's even more suited to you, so. And something will stick eventually. Just gotta be patient because patience, it's a virtue. And what do they say? Everything good takes time. They say that good things take time. So what I like to do after, you know, possibly bad interview, I give myself the day off because A, I'm lazy. B, I need time to, you know, recuperate the, the mental. I need time to recuperate the mental strain that takes on my brain and heart every time but it's gonna be good. I'm optimistic. Even if it takes months or years, who knows? I heard from my cousin, someone that she knew, that it took them a year and a half to find a job after uni and Lord of mercy. It took some real mental strength to do that. Also, it takes a real mental strength to bounce back if you got fired as well. As Anna Wintour said that it's good to get fired at least once in your life, it's character building. I like to build my character without being fired, but you know, I guess being fired helps you build character faster. <laughs> I'm gonna end it now and um, hopefully you'll have a better journey in terms of looking for a new job. Work hard, do your research, prepare, 
Yeah, learn from your mistakes, I would definitely say. Learn from the mistakes that you made in your previous interview. Remember them and don't make them again. Even if you do make them again, it's fine. There's always another interview to come in your way, so. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Thank you for watching me ramble and I hope this makes you feel better. So, bye.